Hi, welcome to another video. This will be a short video, I think. Um, it shouldn't, why should it be long? <laughs> in my last video, where I did some urban photography, I told you I was in the market for a compact camera, Sony Cybershot or the Canon GX series. It's arrived. I'm really quite excited. I bought a compact camera. <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna change my photography. It's the Sony Cybershot. It's 20.4 megapixels. Everything's on the back, it's fixed screen. And when I power it up, out comes the lens. <laughs> and it gives me, <laughs> oh no, this is gonna go on for eternity, isn't it? But the idea was that I would be able to take a compact camera and just capture some urban images because it's discreet and it's flexible. Now, the zoom is at its lowest point, 24 millimeters. And when I zoom out, here it goes. <laughs> at, its, at its max, oh, I, I might say it's a 30 times zoom optical lens. And what that means is I get 270 millimeters of focal range at the, the times 30. Now I can also move out and do macro zooming, but then that changes to digital and it will give me pixelation. And that's comparable to a mobile phone because when you're recording on a mobile phone and you pinch and grab, you get pixelation because it's a digital zoom on there. But this is an optical zoom at 30 millimeter, uh, at times 30, which is 270. So I think this is gonna be just the ticket for some urban photography. So what does it have as an offer? I can go from manual, shutter priority, aperture priority, and also priority mode. Priority mode being mean the camera does everything, but then I can still adjust the exposure compensation, which is going to be fabulous. It also has two auto modes. I've not really read into these, but auto mode on green says a exposure adjustment with automatic settings. And the orange auto mode says Shoot sharp image reducing blur and noise automatically. <laughs> Should be good. So if I go into manual priority, it allows me to change the speed. It allows me to change the f-stop and it allows me to change the ISO. And I love the fact that it increases on the screen so that I can see if I'm getting the right exposure. If I change into shutter priority, I can change the speed. So you can see that the speed is highlighted in yellow. If I click the button, it maximizes and I can increase the speed. You can see that the exposure is changing as well. Then if I go into aperture mode, as with a normal DSLR, everything else is controlled by the camera. So you can see that the f-stop is, f I, I can increase it and decrease it. The focal range will affect how much I can change the f-stop. So I'm, I'm kind of in control, which is great. Priority mode, obviously, I can't control the speed or the aperture. All I can do is adjust the exposure compensation which gives me my metering, which is quite nice. And it, it adjusts the screen as well, so I'm quite happy with that. So for this example, I'll just pop it into automatic mode. I'm not really worried about settings. I just want to demonstrate the zoom capabilities. So we've got the Cricut Pavilion at the back. As I zoom in, you can see it's increasing. I hope it's showing. My zoom, I'll just point it in the sky so that I can get the so that's 30 times zoom. Where's the Cricut Pavilion? <laughs> I've got to focus in. Quite good. So zooming back out. 
And the beauty of this is that it's not going to be like the iPhone. So I'll take a shot. That's at 24 mil. I'll zoom in to, I've got some kind of reflection going on here. Shouldn't really do it indoors, right? 30 times zoom. That's 270 mil. Quite happy with that. And then if I do the macroing, it will show us what the pixelation is like. And then finally, I can have no dis I can have nothing on my screen, which is fine. It's showing there's no flash, but it's still giving me the settings at the bottom. But if I change the display, I can add the level so that I can see if anything is level, which is great. Or, and this is important because I don't have this on my DSLR, I've got the histogram. So as I point down, you can see the histogram is moving all by itself. It's fabulous. So I can see if my shot is the right exposure every time. So it also has the facility to make movies. I'm not going to be using this to record me, you know, like for vlogging. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm on camera. Because I use the DJI, which is fine. It works 4K, blah, blah, blah. But I've got some birds. So I've got it on recording. I've got some birds feeding on the bird feeder so I can record and zoom at the same time. And that gets me right to my 270. Look how good that is for recording. See the blue tit sitting on the bird feeder there. So what that's gonna give me is if I'm out in the field and I want to say, oh, I've got this great image and it's way over there. I can do some footage because normally I'd record on the DJI and then in post-processing, try and do some zooming, but you get pixelation. But with this, I'll be able to zoom right in as it's doing. I'm not recording now, but I'm just giving you the demonstration. Right, what else comes with the camera? I got myself some spare batteries with a USB charger. So that's quite cool. You've got the compartment that holds the battery, easy enough, and the SD card holder. It's um, normal SD size. This is just a, a 64 gig SD card that came with the camera. So all in all, a decent enough bit of kit for me to go out and do my urban photography. Maybe it's a bit excessive, you know. <laughs> From the last video, I wanted to find a camera that I could just kind of discreetly walk about, you know, do some portrait, do some landscape. It's not going to be a substitute for the DSLR because, you know, that's that's camera of choice. But it is a substitute for the iPhone. And the reason being the iPhone, I can take out, I can take pictures. But at the lowest resolution, is it 24 mil on an iPhone 11? Um, I'll research it and put it on the screen. When I pinch and zoom on the iPhone, it pixelates. It's just a digital zoom. It's not good. So I'm quite content, <laughs> i turn that off, that I can go out with this. So the next thing to do then is get out in the field. This isn't a review of the camera. I think it's decent enough. I've already used it taking snaps. I took the grandkids to a bird sanctuary, got some decent shots just using this, just zooming in, zooming out. But I want to do an exercise of more urban photography. So I think that's going to be the follow on video from this. So not a review, just to let you know, <laughs> I was in the market for, and I achieved what I was setting out to do. It cost me £110 on eBay. Um, I'm quite pleased with that. The Sony Cybershot DC DSC hyphen HX fifty V. Um, when did it come out? I'll put it on the screen for you now. So it's not new, but it's in good condition for a hundred and ten pound. It's going to be good. It's not going to be a game changer. 20, 20 megapixels. My DSLR is twenty four megapixels. But you know what? 
it's not the camera. <laughs> you take the pictures, right? Not the camera. So there you go. That's my new toy, which I'm going to go out into the field with in my next video. So thanks for watching. I just wanted to put a quick one together just to show you what I bought. <laughs> Bye for now. Thanks for bearing with. See you in another video.